work from home now this is a phrase that has really come to take on a new meaning in the past two years particularly in the corporate world work from home is the norm now if you look on job listing websites it's actually more common to see either hybrid roles or purely remote roles and this is because work from home is so common now i have been working at home for the past six months and honestly it's been such an emotional and mental journey for me at first i found it really 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 hard and it really took its toll on my mental health in so many different ways i felt isolated i felt trapped i felt like i wasn't really living life I just felt like I was just at home all the time even though I was working five days a week I essentially felt unemployed which is so weird because I had like a full a full-time five day a week job you know but as time went on I developed habits and tips and tricks that really helped me to enjoy working from home and make it a fulfilling experience that was enriching my life rather than taking away from it. Now, this didn't happen overnight. Uh, we are at the six month stage and it's only really in the past month or so that I really begun to enjoy working from home for the first time. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing all of the habits that changed my life um, since I've been working from home in the hope that maybe it can help improve your working from home lifestyle Now the first thing is actually the most important thing I'll probably tell you in this whole video and it's to have a proper morning routine When you work from home, it's so easy to fall out of sync It's so easy to lose routine because when you're actually going to a workplace you have to leave at a certain time so that kind of in its own way develops its own habits you know you have to get ready for the day you have to have a shower and you have to work all of your hobbies all of your extra things like going to the gym around that time when you leave to go to work and when you come back and you kind of have to work your whole life around the commute and going to work and so in that way it lends itself to naturally creating a routine but when you work from home i mean in theory you could really get up two minutes before your first zoom call and nobody would know now although you really could do that you really could wake up two minutes before your first zoom call it's not good for your mental well-being now i will be sharing my work from home morning routine in next week's video so don't forget to check that out now in the meantime i will just say this make sure you get up at the same time every day train your circadian rhythms train your body to wake up at the same time every day so your circadian rhythm is kind of like your internal body clock and did you know that an irregular circadian rhythm so that's like an, an irregular sleep pattern um can actually lead to mood disorders it can lead to the development of mental health and psychological problems go to bed at the same time every night wake up at the same time every morning and you will honestly notice the biggest difference in just your well-being and your mood and your energy and your productivity i would also say to try and work in a bit of exercise in the morning you know there are so many studies to show that the endorphins that can be released in your brain from exercise in the morning can change your mood for the entire day and as i always say your mental well-being should always come first so even if you don't really like exercising and honestly i hate i'm gonna say it right now i'm not gonna be one of these people who sits here and says they love exercising because you know what i don't i really don't enjoy it and a lot of the time when i think about exercising i just think i really don't want to i really can't be bothered um and that's <laughs> just me being real with you but the reason that i do it is actually purely for my mental health that feeling of achievement that you get from going to the gym first thing in the morning before everyone else is awake nothing tops that absolutely nothing so the second habit that changed my life was actually getting dressed every day now that sounds like such a simple simple tip right but you know what if you live in your comfies every single day a really strange thing starts to happen when you're at home all day like the logic is that why am i gonna waste my makeup why am i gonna like wear my nice clothes when i'm just sat at home all day but the problem is when you work from home it's all day every day five days a week so essentially if you have that approach to every day that you're working from home like you're gonna lose all of those things that you use to express yourself like for me I use makeup as a way to express myself. I use my clothes as a way to express myself. But then when I was working from home and I wasn't leaving the house, I was like, why would I waste like my makeup on that when I'm just staying at home? But actually it's so, so important. And when you're leaving the house every day, when you go to a workplace, you take that kind of like individuality that you have from dressing yourself for granted. That's why it's so important when you work from home. So even if it's not every single day, 
like the majority of the days to do yourself up to do your hair to get dressed do your makeup um just because i think it's important to retain that sense of individuality so the third habit that changed my life is i leveled up my work from home setup now i really invested money and time and effort into my work from home setup because i knew i was going to be sat there five days a week every week so it was really important to me that i made sure it was a nice space a welcoming comfortable space that i would want to be for that amount of time okay so i thought because we were talking about work from home setups it would make a lot of sense to show you my work from home setup i'm gonna give you a little tour of my work from home space um and maybe it can give you a bit of inspo to create your own work from home setups so okay so this is my work from home setup my desk is actually from ikea it was literally six pounds it was so cheap and the little drawers on the side there are also from ikea but they're from the alex drawers ignore the dirty wash lol um but these are actually led strip lights and they go all the way around my room and above my chest of drawers there if we come a bit closer my keyboard is actually from hp now it's not a mac keyboard and so there are some like times where the keyboards don't align and that's very annoying but for the most part it's absolutely fine um i actually really like this keyboard it's really sleek um and it goes really well with my desk and the rest of my room the mouse is also from hp um these are actually not too expensive either so big fan of those um and then my monitor is also from hp it's a 27 inch monitor um um, it's actually really really nice let me show you so it's like quite sleek it's very thin and um, it's got like a white back it's actually it does actually give me mac fives even though it's nowhere near as expensive as a mac screen so i actually spent about like 150 on this monitor so it's actually a really good price um and it's lovely to work from so if you can um i would invest in a monitor sometimes your work might be able to cover this for you like i know that my work actually covered this in my expenses so yeah it's worth checking out with your company whether they're willing to cover things like that as it will make you know your work better and that kind of thing but i would say that this has been absolutely essential to making work from home for me really nice so this is actually my little reed diffuser it's from evanes of seven pound fifty these are the best reed diffusers ever um this is actually in the scent rhubarb but it's lasted like the smell actually lasts as long as you have it it's literally incredible and every time i walk into the room i can smell it so i really recommend like getting a hold of these because they're so good this is my work laptop it's actually on a laptop stand from amazon now the reason i've got a laptop stand is because basically when i didn't have one it was actually hurting my neck having to constantly look down the whole day and by having it there you have to kind of like like your neck kind of like elongate so it doesn't like cramp your neck up so much it's a lot better for you basically like ergonomically i think that's the right phrase i've got this little basket filled with like comfort bits and bobs i've got some scrunchies i've got like a mood boosting mist my grandma actually got me this for christmas um i actually love the smell of this i don't actually know whether it boosts my mood but it's positive energy mist and you know what i'm all about positive energy um we've also i've also got this energy boosting balm which i'm meant to rub on your pressure points i actually love this i love the smell of this again i don't know if it's placebo but whenever i put this on i always do get a little energy boost and then i've got this lovely hand cream it's actually the call of fruity soap and glory hand cream but oh my god i'm obsessed with this this just smells absolutely insane like honestly this is probably the best hand cream i've ever owned and then i've got like a little desk organization section so i've got a little space for my airpods i've got a place for my post-it notes and i've got some more pens over there actually this looks really messy lol but um yeah you can never have too many pens and just to add it's really important to separate your work from home space from your relaxing space now for a lot of people my age it's not just me i have my work from home space in my bedroom um and that is not because i want it in my bedroom it's just because i share my house with my parents and obviously it's their house and i can't take over all of the rooms in the house with my clutter so I have had to have my work from home space in my bedroom, but I do actually have ways of making it feel separate. So I will never sit at my desk unless I'm working. The only time I will sit at my desk is when I'm getting ready in the morning and I'm going to work. And the only time I will sit on my bed is when I'm relaxing um, and not working. I'll only sit on my bed when I'm relaxing and I never ever like, cross them over and I never sit on my bed when I'm working and I never relax when I'm sat on my desk and that is how I mentally separate my work my working space and my relaxing space obviously the ideal thing would be to have two different spaces altogether, but that's not possible for a lot of people so 
that's how I deal with that one. Let me know if you have any tips for separating your work from home space from your relaxing space in the comments because I'm always open to more ideas on that one. Now I guess this is more of like an organisation habit than anything else but actually it's actually so easy to feel overwhelmed when you're working from home. Make sure you have a planner, a spreadsheet, whatever you need. I always find that working from home is so much more enjoyable for me when I'm on top of stuff. Now obviously sometimes you can't control that you know sometimes work do be busy and things do get on top of you and that's you know every we're human. I'm human, it happens to the best of us. When I first started my job, everyone's advice for me was to have a proper system. So like some people have spreadsheets and like trackers, like online trackers. Some people have planners, some people have calendars, some people just write it down in their notebook. But find something that works for you and stick to it and actually use it and you'll find that your stress levels will be so much more reduced. <laughs> Number five, break up your day. Go for walks, go to coffee shops, and you know, if you've got an afternoon without any meetings, then if you've got other friends that are working from home, see if they want to spend some time with you as well. One of my friends from work actually doesn't live too far from me, so I sometimes go to her, like, summer house, um, and we work together that way. Or, like, myself and Jodie sometimes go to coffee shops and work from home together as well. Like, there's just lots of different ways of combating that sense of loneliness um and that sense of like being trapped i think you get out as much as you possibly can you know if you can go to the gym in the morning that's great go for a walk on your lunch break nip to the shops you know always find an excuse to go out at least once every day in your work day because it's so good for your head i can't even stress that number six is to have goals that have absolutely nothing to do with your work. Now, maybe this one is just me, but I found that when my goals were solely focused on just my job, I found that I wasn't feeling fulfilled. Just in my life, I just felt like I needed something other than work to focus on, to work towards. Because I guess when you're working five days a week, at home towards things in that time, that's great. Like you obviously have goals, five days a week when you're sat at your desk and you're working but once you close your computer and like you sit down it's like what are my life goals you know and like what other things do you want to achieve that have nothing to do with work um i think these things can be really small or they can be super big you know do you want to have a side hustle do you want to do youtube do you want to like get into the gym do you want to write a book do you want to start a podcast i mean i guess these are all kind of like side hustle style type things i really do think it's so important to have goals outside of work because otherwise your life just becomes all about work and it almost feels like your life becomes two-dimensional i don't know maybe that's just me um but i feel like i need to have goals outside of work too in order to feel like my whole life isn't work, if that makes sense. My next tip is to buy your favorite coffee, your favorite herbal teas and your favorite snacks and to make sure you always have them in. Now that's not me saying eat cake and biscuits all day every day, although you can do that if you really want to. Um, it's more of like a, it's more of like a way to reward yourself for working. So like in the afternoon, I will always have a coffee from my coffee machine. Um, I do that pretty much every afternoon. And honestly, I look forward to it every single day. And I, I have these like coffee sachets that I have in the morning i love them i was thinking about this though and when i go into london i do buy takeaway coffees i do buy lunch out and so i am saving a lot of money not doing that and so i just think what's the harm in buying myself some really nice herbal teas or really nice coffees whilst i'm working from home i do think it's worth spending a bit more money and like having those things in your life you know really make sure that you give yourself things to look forward to that's really really important and my last tip is to just take it easy on yourself and forgive yourself for finding it hard. Like working from home is not a natural state for most of us. Humans are social creatures. We're meant to be surrounded by other people. It's how we get inspired. It's how we get motivated. It's how we, you know, learn, like we are a social species. So it's not natural for us to be isolated and, you know, just talk to each other through screens all the time. That's not a natural way of being. And you need to remember that if you are getting down about working from home it's really important to remember that you're not the only person who feels like that and that is totally normal valid and natural to feel that way but hopefully these habits can contribute to making your work from home experience that little bit more positive thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check out my work from home morning routine coming next sunday i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a 
a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you'd like a notification every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Horton. Follow me on there for all the most update information on what is going on in my life and follow me on TikTok. My handle is at Horton and the last O is a zero. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.